Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, welcome to Oilers After Dark, episode 45. Oilers lose to the Anaheim Ducks. Nothing really positive to talk about this game. Not a lot negative either, I'll be completely honest. It was just a ho-hum matinee game that the Oilers matinee. <laughs> Oilers just suck at matinees, man. Just suck it. Suck it up. Um, Honestly, there, there's really no negatives. Bouchard gives the puck away. Okay, leads to a goal. Bouchard strings his own goal. He leads to another goal. But I'm not going to harp on that. Like, Oilers didn't play 60. Oilers didn't play 40. Oilers played 35. Like, yes, shots. 49 shots for the Oilers, 17 for Anaheim. You can say they got goalied. You can say the Anaheim goalie stood on his head and was the main reason. And I agree with you. I 100%. You play that exact game back. 10 out of 10 times, the outcome will be different for 9 of those. The Oilers win that game 9 out of 10 times. This was just that 10th time where it didn't work out. So I can hoot and holler and scream and shout and lose my voice and this team sucks and trade this player and fire the coach, fire the GM, throw it all away. This team's not making playoffs. Relax. It's one game. It's a shit game against a team that we should have pounced on. A team that we should have put in our back pocket and said, who's your daddy? Would you like another spanking, young gentleman? Unfortunately, games aren't won on paper. It's one on the ice. Oilers had six power plays, scored on two of them. Anaheim had two power plays, scored on one of them. Is what it is. We move on. Breakdown. Oilers goal. Nurse. Redemption? Ish. <laughs> Uh, for last game, assisted by Ryan and Bouchard. Goal scored by public enemy number one right now, assisted by public enemy number two right now. And public enemy number three was not in the game, so we can't bitch and complain about him. And then, again, defense not communicating. We've got CC doing his job, blocking out. The pass from being taken to the other side of the net. Unfortunately, Nurse had the same goddamn idea, and they both come over. Well, who's back door? Nobody. 1 1 hockey game. And then, what is a penalty, but was missed in the first period the other way. Nurse goes to the box two for cross checking. It is what it is. Fowler takes a shot from the point. Could Skinner have made the save? I don't know. It was a nice shot. It was a nice play by Anaheim. They hemmed the Oilers in the entire power play. It was a good goal. Fowler gets the power play goal. Go on to the second period. So after one, it's 2-1 Anaheim. We're not feeling the worst about that period. But it's against Anaheim. So, third, third, second period. Bouchard has the puck. Perfect. Okay, we got the puck at the blue line, young man. Do your thing. Put it low. Keep it inside. Nope. Cross blue line. <laughs> that ain't going to work nine times out of ten. Strom break away from his blue line. Goal. 3 1 Anaheim. Oh, they're feeling invincible. They're, they're feeling it. Hey, we're in Edmonton. We're beating them 3 1, man. This is our game. This team sucks. Well, you give the orders a power play. Makeup call, sure, whatever, power play. Upton scores, assisted by Dry Seidel and McDavid. All right, now we're now we're now we're kicking with peanut oil. Three two. Going on third period, or let's get another power play. Oh, we're loving these power plays, aren't we? Yeah. All right, all right. McDavid scores, assisted by Dry Seidel and Barry. 
3-3 game, we're thinking there's no way the Oilers are off the foot now. There's no way the Oilers... Oiler. The Oilers Oiler. <laughs> Klingberg shot from the point because, again, our defense likes to play goalie and not let our goalie see the puck. There was no way in hell Skinner made that save. Unless he had x-ray vision or was already playing in the middle of the net. Like, there's just no way he sees that shot. Nice shot by Klingberg. Back of the net, 4-3 Anaheim. Oilers lose. 17 shots. 13 saves. Four goals against. <sighs> Defensively, this team needs to wake up and figure shit out. It sucks that this team plays this bad defensively. And it sucks that this team plays so bad during matinees. Thankfully, this is the last matinee for a long time. Edmonton is in Nashville on Monday. Let's hope Drysidle brings Who's Your Daddy Pants with him. Mayor of Smashtown continues being Mayor of Smashtown. Players of the game. I've got three of them. And this is probably the only time you see two of these people on this list. In this corner here, it'll be Tyson Berry. Best defenseman on the ice again tonight. Bar none, period, point blank. On this corner here, we're going to have Dreisaitl for point six seventy. Now he's ahead of Paul Coffey. And over here, we have McDavid because, hey, 12-point game streak. Twelve games, twelve points in each point in the game for twelve games straight. Streaking. That's the only reason why these two are on the list. McDavid and Drysdale, you won't see them on the list very often, and if you do, it's because they've got hat tricks or like eight point nights. This list is reserved for the unsung heroes of the team. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, thank you for watching. My name is Matt. If you liked this video and liked this content. Please watch my other videos, comment on them, and I will reply to them when I get a chance to. We'll just play Nashville. Let's hope for a dub. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe.